Mercury takes 88 days to orbit the Sun and 59 days to spin once on its axis with respect to the stars. Thus a Mercury day is exactly two-thirds of a Mercury year. And this simple fraction is not a coincidence. It's related to tidal forces and resonances acting to align the spin rate of Mercury with its orbit. Mercury has a non-circular orbit and the point closest to the Sun is called the perihelion. 150 years ago it was noted that the position of the perihelion of Mercury advanced slightly every year. But this advance could not be explained by Newton's laws. The difference caused astronomers to hypothesize an as yet undiscovered planet interior to the orbit of Mercury, which they called Vulcan. Vulcan is of course the name given to the home planet of Mr. Spock in the TV show Star Trek. Vulcan did not exist, however, and no search could find it. The answer to the advancing perihelion of Mercury was that Newton's theory of gravity is just an approximation to a more profound and fundamentally correct theory of gravity developed by Albert Einstein, the general theory of relativity.